Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, November the 21st, 2017, and this is episode 2646. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome, glad to have you with us for today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Sensor Size. Stay tuned, won't you? So let me tell you first how I came up with a title for today's episode. And if you know our podcast, you know that uh, I, I come up with phrases or words that are just simply non-existent in the dictionary. I did an episode called Nidar, and it was a word that I made up to speak to the whole idea of having your spiritual radar up to be able to sense needs around you so that you could step in to help meet those needs, thus the word Nidar. Well, today's word is sensor size. Let me give you, first of all, the passage of scripture that I got this from and how God put this on my heart to share with you today. First of all, reading from the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 5, beginning in verse 12, we read the following. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Again, the last part of that sentence, to have their senses exercised, that's where I get the new word, censorized, to discern both good and evil. Now, I have said this before, and I'll say it again. Social media is a minefield. If you're not careful in how you navigate social media, you're going to create all kinds of problems for yourself. I try not to get involved with a lot of controversy in social media because I don't want to posture myself in such a way that somebody who perhaps might disagree with me on an issue might miss uh, the things that I'm trying to share in Morning Manna. But what I see, and and I see this sadly, especially among people who profess themselves to be believers, I see a lot of deception. I see a lot of inability to discern both good and evil. Now, the world that we live in would say there's no such thing as good and evil, right? It's situation ethics. What's right for you may not be right for me. What's wrong for you may not be wrong for me. And so they, every man does what is right in his own eyes. And I see Christians who are compromising the word of God, compromising their faith. And my only uh, understanding of this would be either they're not believers and don't have the Holy Spirit living in them to guide them into God's truth, or they're just not able to to discern because they have not exercised their senses on the solid food, on the meat of the word of God. They're babies, they're baby Christians, and they're unskilled in the word of righteousness. But solid food belongs to those who are full age, those who are mature. And so I want to encourage you today to make sure that you're sensorizing, that you're exercising your senses based on the fact that you're spending quality time in God's word, not just the milk of the word, but really getting into the meat of God's word so that you will be able to discern between good 
and evil. There won't be any confusion on your part. You see, the remedy to this problem is simply growing up. It takes time. It takes discipline to get into the word regularly. But Jesus is the one who said, the words I have spoken unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The written word is our handbook for this life. Let me say that again. The written word is our handbook for this life. Peter said that everything pertaining to life and godliness is found there. 2 Peter 1, 3 through 4. The writer of Hebrews closes chapter 5 with, with this passage that I shared with you today. As we grow, the more skilled we are in the word, the more we'll understand these truths and the untruths <laughs> when you hear of them. We will not need anyone to first explain the foundation again. Instead, we'll build upon it, entering into the fullness of God with a complete understanding that belongs to the spiritually mature. Oh, Father, I pray that you would help us to grow up. And, Lord, the reality is I'm still growing. Help me to continue to grow. Help me to not become stagnant in my growth in your word. Show us clearly, Father. Help us to exercise our senses so that we will be able to discern what is good and what is evil and be able to be a clear-sounding voice in such an age of deception and corruption. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website, morningmana.com. My email, bruceturner at gmail.com. Now, get out there and censor size. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.